as firefighters work to contain the remaining hot spots of the hog fire about five miles west of Susanville, Deputy Incident Commander Kevin Bohall explains how a fuel break helped firefighters get the upper hand on this fire. And the normal diurnal wind here is a southwest flow, so obviously this fuel break was directly in the path of that. 18 months ago, the Lassen County Fire Safe Council spearheaded the South Eagle Lake Fuel Reduction Project, getting rid of about a thousand acres of dead brush and timber. And the location was strategic. A daily weather pattern causes southwesterly winds to blow from the mountains towards the small community of Lake Forest Estates. This is the community that we were concerned about when we put in this fire break. Incident management team three leaders strategically used the fuel break to put firefighters on the ground. We did an overlay of that fuel break map on our actual fire suppression map showing which acres have been treated and what areas hadn't been treated when we came up with line location to ensure that we stop this fire. Shaded fuel breaks stop the continuity of the fuel bed and prevent fire from going from the ground to the treetops. Fuel breaks also make it safer for ground crews to get in and manage the fire. Firefighters fighting the hog fire wouldn't have been able to access this terrain if it weren't for that fuel break. Under the wind conditions and the natural fuel in this area would have been limited to fighting this indirectly with aircraft. The hog fire spread on Saturday, July 18th. The next day, flames jumped Highway 44 and raced towards Lake Forest Estates, which was quickly evacuated. The next day, it jumped Highway 36. Lake Forest resident Lori McFall is grateful firefighters stopped the fire from coming into her quiet neighborhood. My sisters were in the campfire. You have that going on in the back of your mind when you find out it came up so close. And if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here. We would be looking for what do we do now? While these trees were burned, they're still alive because the fuel break didn't allow the fire to burn as hot. This forest will quickly recover. This fuel break acted just exactly how we wanted it to act. The end result is always to try and do what's best for the public and the natural resources of California.